channel. A little bit of a new location today, and that's because the sun is not my friend. See? It's everywhere in this flat, so I have to be like right here. Anyway, I know I predominantly talk about beauty when I do like favourites videos, but I wanted to do a non-beauty favourites video. So I'm gonna whiz through a few things that I that are either very close to my heart or I'm just really enjoying right now and I hope you like it too. So at this point of the year, midsummer every year, I make a purchase that I have made for the last three years. And I'm talking about my itsy bitsy teeny weeny really colourful Smithson diary. Now I absolutely love these diaries. This is my 2018-2019 one, so it's my third one I've ever had and I first got the orange one back in 2016 when I started blogging. So this is full to the brim of everything that happened my first year of blogging, that's everything from like meetings, appointments, shoots, everything and I've just kind of continued the tradition, this was the one that just expired I lead a very busy life. But what is really cute about these is I just love how small they are. They fit in all my clutch bags, even if I have a really tiny purse with me. I take this thing everywhere. Without this, I am lost. If it's not in the diary, I'm not showing up. It ain't happening. And a lot of people think it's super weird because um, I'm a blogger. Most of my life is digitalized. Um, but this is the only old school thing really that I do um, and I love it. Okay, next up is my keep cup. I've had this for about three months now and I'm really making an effort to take this out with me when I go and get coffee or I leave the house and I'm in a rush, I'll put my coffee in here. It's a really great size, it's like a nice generous mug size of coffee. Keeps it warm for a really long time, it's really easy to drink from, especially if you're on the run, there's only a tiny little hole there which you can then cover like that um, if you're like or you want to put it in your bag or something. I don't know if I'd recommend putting it in your bag. But it's a really good idea because obviously it keeps um, waste down. I drink a lot of coffee, so generally speaking, it's a great little thing. I also think it's really cute, it's super easy to wash, and I'm really enjoying using it. Next up is a little obsession that I have recently, and that is miniature bags. Because not only are they very like Carrie Bradshaw millennial, um, they're also quite trendy right now. You may have seen a few other bloggers wearing them, like the miniature Dior ones or the Fendi's. I have started my own little collection and I got these guys from Vestiaire, which is a designer secondhand retail online website. Um, my first purchase was a denim Dior saddlebag. I absolutely love this. As you can see, it's minuscule. Look how thin that is. It's basically just put my Smithson diary in there and an iPhone and I'm done. But I love this. It's so, so cute. So that's my first miniature retro bag purchase. And then my second one was this Fendi number. Again, it's super slim. It's just under the bag. In fact, you know what? The Fendi croissant bag was one of the first, I think it was the first designer it bag. It's the reason like everyone started wanting it bags. It was Fendi that started it back in, I think it was the 90s. Love these little bags and you know, when they originally retailed they were quite expensive but I managed to purchase these just before they got too mainstream. Now something like this will go for £350 but I actually only got this for 120 and I think the Dior was 105 So yeah, absolutely love my miniature retro bags. Uh, next up is my new Instax Square Fujifilm camera. Um, I love taking Polaroids and this is the latest model from these guys. Um, instead of them coming in the, the rectangular shape that they used to, they now come in square shape like this. I went to the launch of this camera a few months ago and they gave me some film and I've been taking it away with me on my travels and taking a few snaps. This is me and my friend Naomi. She's also a blogger um, called the London Fox. That's us at the event. I had no makeup on that day. She looks gorgeous. I look not as much gorgeous. This was in Yacht Week uh, last month in a bar wearing a very tiny denim bra. Um, also, something really cool about this camera is it has loads of new settings, unlike the older one. So you can do selfie mode, macro mode, scenery mode, double exposure, which is pretty cool. I think I have an example here. 
I don't know if you can see that, but that's a double exposure. You can see that I'm there and there's a picture of the bar in the background. That was just a test, but I thought it came out pretty cool. Light and a dark feature as well, so that's pretty cool. Here's a few more snaps of us on Yacht Week. Oh, take me back. Somebody took a picture of this with their finger over the lens, that's why it looks like that. So next up in my favourites um, is a beauty item, sorry I could not. Um, I've been travelling quite a bit to sunny destinations recently and I am always careful with sun exposure. I always wear at the minimum factor 30 but I have also been loving this organic pharmacy tan accelerator. So this is actually so you can get a stronger, deeper and more longer lasting tan with less sun exposure. So it's not gonna fry you. It's got in it beta carotene, pomegranate and capi cachu, which are all organic ingredients which um, promote right sort of cells in your skin to increase tan colour and also tan longevity. I've been loving this brand recently, they do some amazing sun care. So yeah, I've been just putting that on the areas of my body that don't tan very well, like my legs, because I tend to tan really well on my stomach and my arms, but my legs are like forever pale, so this has been helping. So next up, a new jewellery item that's just come through from one of my favourite brands, Astrid and Miu. They've gone like, these are actually Astrid and Miu, I wear a lot of Astrid and Miu, but they've just launched a really cool line and it's all little cross and I think it's so so cute and I actually got the matching choker as well and I'm really really obsessed with them I love it it's like kind of taking me back to the 90s again like gothic vibes and then finally two skincare products which I'm loving at the moment these aren't anything new but I've only recently discovered them so I'm a little bit late to the party you probably already know them they're both by Sunday Riley um, which is a skincare brand which I really really like and this is the Luna night oil this has retinol in it um, so very strong vitamin A and it fights against pigmentation pores and wrinkles so I've been using this at night and always wearing an SPF in the day afterwards which you should do with the retinol but I really really like this it's like a very very deep blue color as you can see but when you put it on the skin it's not blue at all so don't worry about that and then the other one I've been loving for the daytime is their UFO and this is the ultra clarifying face oil so it's got 1.5% um, salicylic acid in it and that's really good for cell renewal like turning over like um, basically clearing out the pores and like any dead skin cells and unblocking um, so I use it around this sort of area and I've been using it for about two weeks now and I really really like it because this area on me tends to get very clogged because that's where I wear the most makeup um, so yeah I just thought I'd show you a few things that I'm currently loving is there anything that you guys are loving right now anything that's come out that you just literally can't live without or you're totally obsessed with then comment down below let me know so I can check it out and leave your links if you have them as well as always I'll link everything down below in the description box if you want to have a little look these are just a few things that I'm really liking right now and I thought I would share with you guys so um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you back here really soon bye for now